Welcome back, everybody. So last episode, I left off totally confused about how I was going to do the lighting. And then fell back to, I just got hidden lighting underneath the carpet. So the carpet kind of goes with the building because it is brown. I mean, the other carpet's a little too bright. There's no color you know, no color like that. So this will be about as close as we can get. And they also thought it would be a good idea to put some computers on these desks. Like so. Although I probably should put little apples back there, but... Um, Maybe these guys don't have Apple computers, so. I'll just do this. Oops. And then you can see over there I put a coffee maker. Because they're not going to get anything done unless they have coffee around here. And then for this desk. I thought I would put one of these looms just because it looks like it's some kind of machine where they can go through here and oh, that's need some lighting back here too. A machine they could actually use to, I don't know, take fingerprints or some kind of thing like that. Then we're also going to need another computer here. And then for this, just put those. And then a clock is needed. There. And that finishes the booking area. So this is the place where you're going to process people out here. You know, take reports and stuff. Process more people back here. Get all the file cabinets to keep all the paperwork in. And then if we need to book anybody, they come over here. There's some kind of fancy electronic fingerprinting device. And then you, you know, put your name in a tablet or whatever. You come back here. And then they take you downstairs. Which I have not built yet. And I'm going to leave this open. I thought I'd put in a door there, but I think it looks better open. So I guess next we need to move upstairs. Now that I've got all the lighting done here. Oh, oh no. Well, all the lighting done except for that block I took out back there. I'll go do that and then meet you upstairs. So once we go upstairs, got more windows. Let's so get that. Ooh, I'm going to have to light in between the buildings. I'm going to have to light this corner, too. At least here, maybe. Oh, I need to get something for the top of that wall. I don't like the way that looks. Actually, all these walls. This is not complete. I thought I finished it up here. But maybe I didn't. Okay, let me go get a few more blocks and kind of finish this upper part here. Okay, so the top there, top of the wall needs to be filled in. So that looks a lot better. And that also lets me put... I put a square there and the light that will light up this corner and it's not too low I, mean, I like it to be up one more block but that's not going to happen it looks like I did not fill in the top of any of these walls There. We come through here. 
I'm going to put a lantern there. Notice I really need another lantern here someplace. Can I put one here? Well, that seems like it's going to, you know, hit me in the head when I walk by. So that's going to be a problem right there. I did not realize lighting was going to be such a big issue. If I put it that one. Ah, that works. And I'll just have to get uh, like a spruce trap door to hide there. So yeah, let's get started on this area here. So this, there's going to be a desk over here. Let's stick a um, lantern above the desk. And it is going to be just like the desk downstairs. So we'll have that. Because I'd imagine they buy them all at the same place because it is a government building. that there and then we got a couple chairs here so this is like you're interviewing people or talking to them So on the second floor, they'll be here. This is kind of like an interview desk or something. And then in here, this is one of those lineup rooms. So you would have the suspects come through here, line up and stand here. And then on the other side of this wall, we'll have the um, witness. I, I guess they are the eyewitness. Uh, pick them out of a lineup. And we're going to pretend, because this is the game, that this is one way glass. So they'll be able to see through, but these guys up here won't be able to see down there. I definitely need to go, I'm definitely going to need a bunch of lighting. I thought maybe something like this would work. Actually, I'll just do this. Yeah, so a full bank of lighting here. So you, these guys are well lit. So you can't mistakenly not see them. Oops, that's an interrogation room. There we go. So we're back over here. So they'll come through here. And this is they'll stand on the other side over there. And you'll pick them out of the lineup. And then... And the light covers both rooms, so I like that. I do need a door. Let me go get a few. Yeah, I'm out of I'm out of space too. Get a few doors. I can get rid of some of this glass by just filling in. I've got a lot of windows in the walls here. Like here, this is just going to be another place for a uh, another desk. So this would be another big desk here. Have a chair, a couple more chairs. So this isn't really where you're interviewing criminals and stuff. This is more where you're talking to witnesses and sus, you know, that kind of stuff. This big file cabinet here. So he's doing this is where you do all the work. Um Maybe I'll put a bathroom back in that corner. That's a might be a good idea. And then once again, I need to fin, fill in the top there. I need to figure out a light. What kind of light can I have here? I can't punch a hole there because it's only half slabs. I guess the only thing I could do is maybe stick another one above there. 
I need to make some more lanterns. I'm out. So I think that'd be okay. And if we come through here, uh, this hallway just cuts back over to this area. So we'll cut through here. This is the interrogation room. So really here we're going to have one, two, three, and two, three, something like that. Or actually, let's get those out of there. I'm going to put like this. That would be there. Chairs like that. I'll put one lamp hanging down from the top. So that'll be the interrogation room. And then this is just a hallway. It runs all the way back over to here. And I'll have to figure out something to do with some lighting or something. I guess the theme of today's episode is uh, lighting was not considered for this build. I just spam torches and then didn't realize that those torches are not going to work in the long run. So I need to make a bunch of new lanterns and then figure in some doors and then figure out what to do with the uh, rest of the lighting. So I think over here, instead of a bathroom, we're going to put, uh, what can I put in that? I don't want to leave that. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if I, if I can leave. I got a light right next to it. Nothing's going to spawn. I was worried about leaving something there because I was afraid it was going to spawn. I don't have to. There. So we got a little like a little coffee area here. So we got this uh, one desk here. We come back here. I've got a door. So we're going to do a door there. I'm also going to put a lantern here. Yeah, that should take care of a lot of that. Also put a door there. And a door there. So this is like the witness desk where they're talking to witnesses, getting a brief before they go in and talk, to, you know, do the lineup. Dang it, I forgot that trap door. There we go. That hides that rather well. I'll do another one over here. There we go. Uh, that almost looks uh, normal. That worked out really well for a little cubby hole for coffee and stuff. So, so we got these guys here. I think, oh, let's do make a couple of those. I think what I want to do for these is the old uh, door as the back of a chair trick. We got a couple chairs here and do the same thing on these. So once we get into the hallway, that hallway's fine. Interrogation room needs a light there. Uh, this is one of those you don't have the one way glass. Oh, actually. I could put in one-way glass because I do have glass. I actually got some black glass that may work as a one-way. It's like we have. Oh, I'm on the wrong floor. One more down. This is a big building. I just kept adding and adding floors to it. Just out of control. Uh, for this, let's put 
the lamp in the corner there. And then this is where we can get away with putting in our interrogation window. So this is where we can stand here and watch them. We may actually do this. Do I have any chairs? Uh, I'm all out of chairs. Unless you count. There. A couple little chairs here. They don't have, they're not going to be used for a lot, but. So this will be one way glass. So that's that mirror you see in interrogation rooms. There's a big mirror right there usually. And do I have any spruce on me? I've got, oh dang it, I've only got two pieces of spruce. I was going to do a spruce door, but I think the interrogation room should have a solid door. And spruce is one of the few, uh, few woods that actually give you a solid door. I guess I could do like a dark oak, but that's almost too fancy. That's more like a rich mansion door. So we're just going to do a spruce door right there. I did bring some signs, so I thought maybe like here I can put a room. So I got an interrogation room here. And if I put like line up view. V I E W viewing room. That'd be the lineup viewing room. So you go in here to view people in the lineup. Go back to the hallway. You got your interrogation room there. You got your little area here we can spy on people doing the interrogation. And then you have the lineup over here. I'm trying to think of a way to put like the little foot, you know, you got the little measurements for people's height. I guess I could do some more, you know, like map art. I could do it that way. But I don't, that takes a lot of time. I don't know if I've got that kind of time. I did get to think maybe this carpet would be better like that. I'm kind of toss. It's a toss up. I kind of liked all the bright lights shining on the people there. I kind of like the bright lights because the lights are shining in these guys' eyes so they can't see behind the mirror. And it gives a it's well lit so you can catch and identify them. Just looking for torches and stuff. I think I've got all the lighting done. All my little X's are gone. All my doors are taken care of. Got the signs I need. I if I need any more signs here. Let me put one over here and just put a booking. So this would be the booking section. And this would be the uh, holding cells in jail. Well, that's, I think that takes care of uh, this next floor. So I'm just going to end the episode at this point. I don't know how long it's gone for. Hopefully it won't be too long. And in the next one, we'll move once again to the next floor here. And this is more of um, more where the, the crime scene detectives are. So right here is 
you know, we've got processing down here. Here is all the interrogation and stuff. And up here is where all the detectives gather and meet and discuss what's going on. But for now, I want to say thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Ouch. And please, please come back and catch the next episode. And oh, definitely have a nice day. Thank you.